ओके हाय एवरीवन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम रियली सॉरी फॉर माय बैकग्राउंड क्योंकि मैं घर पे हूँ कोलकाता में सेकंड दिस वीडियो गोइंग टू टेल यू दैट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली आई वर्क हाउ आई वर्क व्हाट इज माय माइंडसेट व्हाट आई डू व्हाट आई डोंट डू एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू हेल्प फॉर लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल सो वॉच दिस वीडियो थर्ड इफ यू वॉन्टेड टू बी द पार्ट ऑफ ट्रैक वेर आई एम वर्किंग फॉर वन डे यू कैन अप्लाई इन अ लिंक विच इज वेर इन डिस्क्रिप्शन सो एक दिन का टीम हम एक कैंपेन कर रहे हैं जहां पे हम पांच लोगों को बुला रहे हैं अपने ऑफिस में हमारे ऑफिस में आप आएंगे आके लोगों से बात करेंगे कैसा काम होता है वो देखेंगे कुछ भी सवाल हो आप पूछेंगे आपको बहुत सारे गुडीज मिलेंगे हमारे साथ लंच करेंगे एंड हम बहुत सारी ज्ञान की बातें आपको शेयर करेंगे वी है पीपल फ्रॉम इंडस्ट्री यू नो और को फाउंडर्स आई विल बी दियर माई टीम मेट्स विल बी दियर टेक्निकल टीम रहेगी डेवलपमेंट टीम रहेगी मार्केटिंग टीम रहेगी सेल्स टीम रहेगी हमारे सीटीओ रहेंगे सीईओ रहेंगे को फाउंडर रहेंगे इंटरनेशनल सीईओ रहेंगे तो आपको जिससे जो भी पूछना है आप पूछ सकते हैं उनसे बात कर सकते हैं एंड डिसीजन लेने में वो आपकी मदद करेंगे सो so, एक दिन का टीम मेट एट्रैको डिस्क्रिप्शन में लिंक है जाओ अप्लाई करो वेदर यू आर स्टूडेंट और आर्टिस्ट और डेवलपर और सेल्स पर्सन या फिर आप हमारे कॉम्पिटेटर में ही क्यों ना काम कर रहे हैं हमें कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता आप आ सकते हैं यू आर वेलकम इन आवर ऑफिस विल ऑल्सो मेक श्योर की आपको जो जानना है वो आपको पता चले एंड आपके लिए ये एक दिन बहुत ज्यादा ही फन वाला एक्सपीरियंस रहे So see you in the office. Okay, so sales is a very dynamic and interesting field to be in. So, what inspired you to pursue a career in sales? So, uh, you know, uh, when I look back, when I connect the dots, so I was always a people-oriented uh, person, right? I love to talk people. I I love to meet new people, and more or less, I love to listen them. I know that what what they wanted to say, right? What they are going to do after this. So all these things was there. Uh, when I look back, I realized that I started selling myself from class eleven or twelve, right? So in college okay. days. I joined a school. It was primary school. I was teacher there, right? I was not loving the teaching, right? I was loving that how these kids, you know, uh, appreciating my effort, how they wanted to be like Pratik sir, how how the way I, you know, do the hairstyle, the way I wear the shirt, all these things. And right. here in sales, this happens sales, right? You just try to impress your client. You try to, you know, make sure that your client. know you very well and this is what you do so right when i joined icici there was a time when i started doing the sales and then i get to know that yeah sales something which i enjoy then again when i came to you know the startup part i again you know choose sales part and there i develop a habit to be a consultant instead of doing a, you know hardcore sales and that helped me to grow very fast so yeah being a consultant thing you know helped mm-hmm. me to grow So it's been a big part of your career growth, and you've been blessed with the gift of the gap. So that's working for you too. So uh, yeah. getting into the technical side of it a bit, uh, how do you structure a cold call or like a cold email? Could you give us an example of how you demo? Oh, that's really good part. You know, like whenever you are doing a cold call or cold email, right? There are so many uh, uh, people who do it in a wrong way, right? So most of the time, what happens whenever anyone joining the company? they get a template that this is the template for cold calling this is the template for uh, cold mailing and they just copy paste it right they don't understand that what need to do for cold calling and cold mailing so what right. i do before calling anyone i try to find a connect with me right i understand prospect so let's say if i wanted to call you right i'll check your linkedin i'll see where you have studied where you, you have did. worked right yeah yeah that's yeah. <laughs> it right <laughs> so where you belong from right what what is your city right so i seen that you have study in pune right mm-hmm. so when i call you instead of talking more about my product i'll also like after talking my about my product i'll also mention that hey i have been pune i was near your place right and right. the best part about that pune is like i love the uh, something i love about that right so this totally. make sure that you remind my call right not every cold caller will talk about pune with you right i will talk totally, about yeah. i will i'll 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 talk about pune with you so this is what uh, effectively like works so when you are doing something to make sure that your prospect reminding you your prospect uh, remember you so then you can close the deal same works with the cold email right so i never send a template of cold email 
i always mm-hmm. see that what is happening in your career how you are doing so if you have posted some good content or maybe you have just you know uh, Uh, achieve some new position or something like that i mentioned that with a very first line and then i start my you know entire gold mail okay that's an interesting approach you know like uh, going into the details and establishing a personal connect so they remember you right right same so, happened uh, you know la- few days back i just like to share this uh, story so few days yeah, back yeah, sure. when a person called me right he was selling his solution some some sales solution was there and after talking all these things he said you know what my mom is also pande okay <laughs> right and uh, she belongs to up where you belong to i mentioned that i belong to bihar or something like that right mm-hmm. and he said ki yeah, that's nice and you know i also stay just near by your office so whenever you want uh, you can ask me and i can drop in i like that's nice and copying your tricks on you only yeah and like this is this is very impressive i have talked about this in several videos but this is what right. happened you know when you make sure that samne wala banda you know aapko yaad rakh raha hai aapko kisi bhi cheez ke liye yaad rakh cause there are so many people who are calling and pitching calling and pitching calling and pitching right what you are doing to make it personalized that is very much important okay interesting so uh, you've been recently inducted into marketing and growth so uh, going into that could you in your own way tell us the difference of uh, b2b versus b2c marketing like what effective strategies have been employed in b2b marketing uh, which have been successful or we've seen growth in the past 5 months so the major difference is b2c is very aggressive and in b2b you have to you know keep the patience without that you cannot grow so in b2c mm-hmm. you can set target that today i'll close this number right but in b2b you cannot do that it's a long term game mm-hmm. minimum uh, you need 3 months to close one big client right cause if i'm talking to you let's say i'm in a b2c i'll call ata ata ye product hai and mm-hmm. he is the person who is going to decide that whether he is wanted to buy or not that's all Correct. right but in b2b if you're going to sell something right or you are trying to just you know pitch in in that organization first you have to deal with the user who are going to use the solution if it's a sales product like you have to talk about the sales people then you will go to the sales leader who is a bp or something then you'll go for a approval from it team that causes the it so- software then you need ceo permission to do the negotiation and everything and after that you need a legal team approval ki sare product sahi line mein hai ya nahi right so approaching all these people and the most important finding all these people on a single table itself a big task right So yeah it true need lots of lots of patience to keep doing this keep doing this and you know be consistent on the follow up and this is a major challenge second when i talk about the marketing side the most important thing uh, in b2c if you see the uh, you know ad of uh, zomato swiggy they are mm-hmm. very personalized right but i cannot yeah. go to the ceo and say hey today is valentine happy valentine take this rose <laughs> right i cannot do that i have to be very you know very professional. professional i have to be yeah but still i have to make it very personalized right i have to make sure that that person is liking this entire so when i use joke in b2b i make sure that this joke is some kind of standard pg nahi hai right <laughs> it's a business right. joke which which you know able to crack that ice so this is what happened you have to know not to overstep your limits and uh, right. just keep it below the line right you know? hmm so any uh, specific campaign that you remember that uh, you employed these tactics in and uh, the wait time wasn't that long you just cracked through so uh, luckily so far with traco uh, we are doing very good with the marketing uh, we are in market from last uh, two years but now everyone knows that what traco is doing and how we are doing so one mm-hmm. thing which is you know worked very well is email marketing right okay uh, and email marketing is also a very specific email marketing so we do email blast on every tuesday now why every tuesday cause in Mon- on monday people are busy they are just cleaning up their desk work and everything on okay. tuesday they are little bit free right so they can see that what mails is coming and not and when you do the email blast on tuesday you are getting time wednesday thursday friday for booking a demo right and then we never people, thought of it like that but okay yeah yeah right so these people can book the demo if you if you put the email blast on thursday 
सो पीपल से यार कल फ्राइडे आई हैव टू क्लीन द माई डेस्क सो एक काम करते हैं नेक्स्ट वीक में देखते हैं एंड दे लीव द मील राइट दे सेट की नेक्स्ट वीक में देखेंगे एंड वेन यू डू इट ऑन मंडे पीपल आर टू मच बिजी and they will not see your mail it will be you know like ignored when you do it on wednesday they are like ki ya dekhte hain kya hai kya nahi hai right so this that's happened so time also worked and if i talk about the mail content which is so we never send you know like more than 500 words ka email we always send try to do one page of just like one page of what is happening what happened uh, that's all the subject is very much important so recently okay. we did one campaign Uh, so we are in 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 a tracking right so we said when you get a delivery in 10 minutes why can't you get a uh, you know tracking link in 10 minutes so Fair that enough. was that was the line whatever that time blanket was doing so many ad and all so that was right. aligned with that right recently we said, uh, did one more campaign uh, and uh, there we mentioned that you can save this much of money like this percentage of cost just by automating your work and that also worked a lot so this is what happened like you have to be very good with your email content and in b2b emails works a lot more than anything else right also uh, as you talk uh, there has to be a personal touch and uh, you need to connect with your buyer so uh, talking of storytelling you know it's an important part of product demos you know you take them to a journey and uh, they connect with you on the way so in that aspect can you tell us how storytelling is effective in a product demo and how you use that strategy so for me everyone is writing a script right we okay. all are writing script you are writing script so like i believe and i know that sometimes you also feel that then when you will be at that certain level and maybe you you will be asked by ted talk ek aise speech dena and like you you imagine yourself everyone imagine your, uh, like themselves that they are certain level and they are talking to certain type of people and they prepare a speech right so i also do these things i prepare pitch for client i prepare pitch for uh, anyone where i am going to you know say something about myself so being in a sales is all about storytelling right mm. also connecting your dots so in 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 a conversation if you remember while giving explaining you the cold call i talked about you and pune right yes. and i made sure that that is connected right i i could talk about anything kisi ke bare mein main bata sakta tha but instead of uh, telling my experience i talk about you and pune right so this is how you it should be when you are doing the storytelling you have to understand that what part comes first and what comes later right and how you are making it more personalized how you are make, making it more centric towards audience you are on stage if you are not able to get the class or audience you are not going to make it right so mm-hmm. if you are a performer if you are a storyteller make sure that you have those hook up lines where you are getting gaining the attention from your audience so sometimes uh, when when you talk when you say always remember that what line maybe a joke maybe a sigh or maybe something you know maybe a motivational quotation you can use it and you can simply get that attention second uh, in sales when you are doing storytelling when you are talking to people it should not be you know monologue it should be dialogue if you are not Correct. doing the dialogue if you are not doing the dialogue uh you are not going to crack it it should not be like people think like mujhe sirf bolna aana chahiye sir isme aisa nahi hota hai aapko acha question puchna bhi aana chahiye you have to make sure that in front of uh, like uh, whoever is there in front of you they are also talking to you they are not just listening so this is what happened correct basically do your research well and know the ins and outs of the conversation know the hook point yeah yeah so i always make sure that i somehow i i get the connects but i make sure that so what i do i i see the linkedin profile that where they are have you know like uh, how they have doing in their career where they have worked where they are from uh, who are the clients they are working with right mm-hmm. and unke clients ka kaun clients ho sakta hai right which are the vendors right so if i uh, come to you know cure it right so you guys are providing Uh, you know uh, a solution to one of my client 
right so right. i will focus on that part that hey you are working with this person i am also working with this person and this is how we can work together so this is what i do if that's a business pitch let's get on a different call and discuss yeah yeah <laughs> okay so Definitely. about about clients uh, you have to improvise also on the spot sometimes i'm guessing so mm-hmm. how do you uh, uncover the pain points of your prospects effectively while on a pitch or on a sales call and what's your go to strategy or blueprint to ensure that uh, you're not disappointed or you don't mess up asking question is very much important you know like people are afraid of asking question in sales i don't know why why they are not able to so so for me you know i have seen so many people that they are not asking if i'll ask you hey yatha how are you what will you i'm good i'm good thank you how are you right so so uh, like this ring is looking la- nice like kahan se liya tha ye ye main pune se laya tha like so you have to ask question people will reply and if you're not asking people mm-hmm. will not reply right so i uh, so whenever i go for a meeting or whenever i go for demo right my first statement is like hey i am going to present my demo i am going to give you solution that what i have but if you can tell me that what pain areas you have what kind of mm. you know challenges you are facing if you are mm. using some solution before this demo what was the challenge you have faced in that dem- uh, that product that's why you are here right so wo kya tha if you can tell me i can prepare my uh, presentation i can give you demo i can focus more on that points which will help you which will save your time and my both right and they start talking they start saying that uh, we were using this solution wahan pe ye issue tha user friendly nahi tha people were not able to understand am i a sahi acha se nahi aata reports sahi nahi the dashboard sahi nahi the whatever problem they have they will definitely tell you right and then you provide solutions for it yeah yeah and this is also help me so if i'm not you know understanding that what pain area is there right i might not touch that point kyunki mere mujhe lag sakta hai ki wo mere liye important nahi hai right if you have certain issue with any t-shirt let's say you are you are wearing this hoodie right and mm-hmm. that hoodie ka tag irritates you all right that hoodie ka tag irritate you and that is your right. pain area right so whenever you go for a shopping you always check that ki wo hoodie ka tag bahut bada to nahi hai right true true but koi hoodie aapko dikhayega wo is cheez pe nahi focus karega right kyunki wo pata hi nahi hoga Hmm. उसको पता भी नहीं है उसको उसके लिए पेन एरिया भी नहीं है कोई इस चीज को लेके जाता भी नहीं होगा बट यू हैव सर्टेन सिचुएशन जहां पे वो इरिटेट करता है सो विल चेक फॉर इट राइट बट अगर कोई पूछ ले कि हे अथा क्या प्रॉब्लम है व्हाई व्हाट काइंड ऑफ हुड यू वांटेड टू सी देन यू मेंशन दैट दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम एंड देन दैट पर्सन शो यू दैट काइंड ऑफ हुड इज राइट सो दिस इज व्हाट हैपेंड कोइंसिडेंटली दिस इज द सेम फिलॉसफी बिटवीन द क्वेश्चन सेल मी द स्पेन so you ask the prospect like uh, why right. you need a pen and uh, what was the the problem with your last pen and how can my pen solve this problem for you so it's a basic sales tactic but beautifully explained i guess so you know in in sales again same uh, in india sales not treated very well and jo kaam karte wo bhi isko acha nahi samajhte isme and jo na nahi kaam karte wo to isko aur bakwas samajhte hain but True. sales is similar like you know being a consultant being a doctor mm. right uh, if you go to a like here what happened in india people come to sales people and they said i need this 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 give it to me right but if you go to doctor you don't say hey i have this 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 problem give it to me this medicine wo mujhe prescribe kar do aap nahi bolte ho aap unko batate ho kya pain hai kya problem hai and he give it to a solution right he give it right. to a medicine whatever it is and in sales you have to do it in a same manner thoda sa time lagega thoda sa experience lagega but ho jayega the doctors of the day, business that's a good good tagline yeah yeah like if you if you keep doing hard work one day you will become like pratik pande oh we found the <laughs> caption for this podcast pratik <laughs> <laughs> okay pleasure. so getting into the business side of things once a product uh, demo is done uh could you walk us through the next steps like how can someone increase their chances of closing the lead after pitching the product okay so uh so you know like uh if you do the research even there's so many things uh, happening mm-hmm. in sales right so follow up is the most important part right people stop right. following up with their prospect 
स्पेशली इन बी टू बी क्योंकि बी टू सी में डिसीजन बहुत जल्दी आते हैं बट बी टू बी एज आई मैं राइट अगर छोटे टिकट साइज है तो थर्टी डेज का होता है बट नाइनटी डेज इज एवरेज सेल साइकिल सो द फर्स्ट डेमो इज डन नाउ यू नीड टू डू द मल्टीपल राउंड ऑफ डेमो इट्स नॉट जस्ट लाइक वन डेमो so you have to follow for the second round of demo then follow for the third round of demo then follow for the fourth round of demo when every stakeholder is on board it then you have to talk about the terms and condition which is a sow right what will be the scope of work then you have to talk about the contract then you have to talk about the negotiation part which is the commercial comes in then you have mm. to talk about the legal all these things happen right but the most important thing you have to do the follow up so when the first thing you have to do when your meeting is done send a brief mom with the next point of action right okay so in last you have to mention this is the next point of action and now you can also ask your client that what will be the next point of action right uh, how we can take it forward it's not like ki demo ho gaya ab sochenge kya karna hai you should ask your client right ki what is the next point of uh, uh, action how we can do it send a memo and then every fourth or fifth day make a call or send a mail make a call or send a mail until you are not getting update or not getting into next step if you are not doing it you will definitely lose that client after first meeting or after first demo so sometimes what happen in india especially people are afraid of saying no you cannot say no to anyone mm. you have to say yes right people people don't like to like to you know say no so they are ignoring not because you know they are too much busy they are ignoring because they don't want to say you no know, <laughs> but they don't want your service right so right. if you are too much frustrated let's say you are keep following for 9 months or sorry or 2 months or 6 months or 7 months right just send a mail at least say no with the subject line at least say no and then okay. ask that hey was the update to usme bhi kya hota hai ki people will not say you no know, but they will forward this to some concerned person or something like that so that right. that works so consistency and uh, keeping follow ups up to date is key in this if you right. uh, miss out on follow ups the company won't respond and you'll lose the client right right for sure 200% uh contacts are also big in this industry so speaking of referrals uh they form a major part of networking and building potential uh, connections right so according to you what are the effective ways to ask or uh, get referrals can you give an example of sometime when you you did it or someone who did it through you so yesterday i was on a meeting right with one of the india's biggest you know technology providers uh they are doing government projects they are working with indian government they are working with multiple state government to provide them uh, technology solutions right and that company reach out to me through one of my client reference and that client was in 2018 i closed that client in 2018 oh. wahan se unko mera reference mila tha now why my clients are able to remember me cause the first thing you have to be very same this right uh you have to go to meet these people right your clients uh, first you have to make sure that they are liking you they believe in you they understand you right uh, so i follow simple philosophy right i don't have two lives i have one life i have no personal life i have no professional life राइट सो मेरा पर्सनल प्रोफेशनल कुछ नहीं है मेरे पास रात को भी लोग कॉल करते हैं तो मैं बात करता हूँ मेरे व्हाट्सएप स्टेटस पे जो मैं दोस्तों के साथ घूमने जा रहा हूँ या जो मैं क्लब में डांस कर रहा हूँ मेरे क्लाइंट्स के लिए भी होता है मैं अपने पेरेंट्स के साथ जो फोटो लगा रहा हूँ मेरे क्लाइंट्स के लिए भी होता है मैं अपने क्लाइंट्स को फेसबुक इंस्टाग्राम लिंकडन पे भी कनेक्ट करता हूँ सो दिस गिव देम सर्टन काइंड ऑफ यू नो अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट आई एम ऑनेस्ट आई एम ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड दिस इज हु आई एम आई एम नॉट फेक राइट दिस इज हाउ आई विल ट्रीट this is what i i think about and when i meet them i meet them like the way i am right i try to meet every client whom i am serving physically now why important to meet physically when we are talking right this is just a window hamare paas ek ghanta hai hum sirf isi bare mein baat karenge aur kisi cheez mein baat nahi karenge but when you meet people you talk about so many things you connect with them you understand them right they remember you so this is how you set up you know base for asking the referrals 
now when you establish the connections you have added that person in all social media platform on all social media platform then update them that what you are doing inform that that where you are what you are doing what's happening with you right so i have three broadcast list i send them that what my company is doing i put every new feature on my whatsapp status right and that how many people is- if i may ask approximately so i have 5000 whatsapp contacts and every day wow. around 2000 people watch my story on whatsapp so wow. so yeah so these people watch my stories right so sometimes what happen even there's a one solution jo atha ko nahi chahiye but atha ke dost ko chahiye he refers my name right ki prateek hai iska maine story pe dekha tha kuch to aisa tha tu baat kar le this is what happened stays in their mind okay right so this is what happened and when i desperately need i go to that person ki hey uh, you were working with this or they uh, do you know this person or something like that and kuch time to wo maangne se khud de dete hain theek hai log maangne se darte hain main nahi maangne se darta hu to main bol deta hu ki hey i need connection in haldiga i need connection in you know curate can you please refer me so and they hmm. refer us that they people love to refer people love to share their business right in b2b the best part is like no one they they love to make referrals referrals kyunki kabhi na kabhi wo tumse hi mangenge and you you will be there right to ye hota hi hota hai one one more thing which i'll definitely like to mention for the referrals uh you have to be very very you know uh what i say uh active on on referrals right so if you have referred one number to me I cannot leave it for four days, five days कि मैं एक वीक बाद बात कर लूँगा, बाद में बात कर लूँगा। आज मूड अच्छा नहीं है, आज तबीयत ठीक नहीं है, आज रात हो गया, सुबह हो गया। The moment you get refer referrals, call them that time only। रात के नौ बजे हो, दस बजे हो, सुबह का आठ बजाओ, call okay. that person। Right? So this is what happened। क्योंकि generally reference कैसे होता है, reference कैसे कोई देता है? You and me talking, you said कि यार मुझे ये चाहिए था। ठीक है ऐसे ड्रुक मैं तेरे को प्रति का नंबर भेजता हूँ या प्रति को तेरा नंबर भेज देता हूँ यू सेंड योर फ्रेंड नंबर टू मी राइट एंड यू बोथ आर एट अ सेम टाइम लाइक और इधर टॉकिंग टू ईच अदर और यू आर विथ टूगेदर राइट एंड मैं जब वहां पे कॉल कर दूंगा ना इट विल रजिस्टर्ड इन योर हेड दैट हाँ प्रतीक ने इस टाइम पे कॉल किया था और मेरी इससे ये बात हुई थी बाद में जब आप कॉल करते हो तो आपको एक्सप्लेन करना पड़ता है कि रेफरेंस कहाँ से मिला पर इट कैन बैक फायर ऑल्सो नो सपोज रात हो रही है इट्स लाइक नाइन टेन पी एम and uh, like the person who gave you a reference is close friends with the businessman maybe it's an investor so when you call you won't set a good impression so might as well call in the morning don't don't you think okay perfect so ab mujhe ye 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 concept logo ko bahut galat lagta hai main ab batata hu see the people who are successful right mm-hmm. they work 18 hours theek hai mm-hmm. why can't you work 18 hours why can't you show that you're working at uh, 18 hours so if i'm calling someone at 10 o'clock mm-hmm. that means mm-hmm. i am serious about my work i am working till 8 10 pm or 9 pm right so what do you think it will impress or it will you know like uh, leave a bad impression it will definitely impress i don't mind that but uh, you cannot tell whether the other person is in a position to talk maybe he's celebrating his daughter's birthday he's at a party and number of reasons but has this worked for you has yeah, the yeah. conversion oh. conversion rate yeah so yeah definitely so what i feel if someone is busy, uh, you know like not able to talk or somewhere occupied they will tell mm-hmm. you that hey i'm occupied here uh, can you call me tomorrow morning right okay otherwise right. they and appreciate okay. the effort no 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 not like that i'm just saying that call that person and register yourself in his head that you have called and mm-hmm. the reference was this that's all you call me very after fun. that's it right right even with inbound okay. leads also if you are getting any inbound lead call that person immediate basis do din ke baad nahi call karna hota hai kyunki wo kisi aur ko dhoond lega that's a very unique tip but i think it it will work because the way you termed it it sounds very logical you know 18 it hours and logical. they will only they will only feel like okay kuch to baat hai bande mein dam hai so so one more example i'll give you know whenever i used to do the abhi to main cold mail nahi karta hu but when i mm-hmm. used to do cold mail i used to send it at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock so these people when they are going for you know restroom washroom jab wo baithte to apna mail check karte hain to subah 7 baje mera email unke inbox mein hoga wo dekhenge 
उनका काम का होगा तो वो क्योंकि सीईओज आर नॉट गोइंग टू यू नो टॉक टू मी डायरेक्टली दे विल फॉरवर्ड दैट मेल टू कंसर्न पर्सन एंड जब वो कंसर्न पर्सन 10 बजे ऑफिस जाएगा उसके पास उसके सीईओ के तरफ से एक मेल फॉरवर्डेड होगा एंड उसमें लिखा होगा टॉक टू दिस पर्सन टॉक टू दिस गाइस एंड दे विल रीच आउट टू मी राइट बट वही अगर मैं दिन के 12 बजे करूंगा तो चांसेस बहुत कम है कि वो मेल दिखे भी क्योंकि सुबह का हर मेल हर पर्सन देखते ही देखता है वो जंग भी हो या कुछ भी हो ट्रू इंटरेस्टिंग स्ट्रेटजी बट या दिस विल वर्क आई थिंक दिस विल मोस्ट डेफिनेटली वर्क या डेफिनेटली सो कमिंग टू अनदर केस इन सम केसेस द डिसीजन मेकर्स विल नॉट बी द वन हु इज एक्टिवली यूजिंग द प्रोडक्ट यू नो सो हाउ डू यू पिच योर प्रोडक्ट टू डिफरेंट स्टेक होल्डर्स uh that's that's great question and i'm glad that you asked it right so so there's a two sort type of people in any b2b organization decision makers influencer right so you have to understand who is the influencer who will influence the decision and who are the decision maker when you figure out that these are the influencer and these are decision maker you have to impress the influencer right Let's take. Like, let me give you an example. So I have a software product, right? My right. entire software is basically on Logistic, right? So that software is, you know, used by Logistic people, right? It will give the operational benefit to to uh, uh, operation uh, Logistic people, right? Hmm. But if I have to do a meeting with CFO, right? I will pitch that how this software will reduce the cost and how this software will reduce the manpower cost for the right. CFO. right if i have to talk to the it people i'll explain him that how this software will create more transparency how the software will create more kind of you know data bank for them talk their language to, and your end right if i have to talk about the logistic people i cannot say ki aapka paisa bachayega i will cannot talk about ki kaise automate karega i have to talk about the how they are going to get benefited benefit in in terms of operation right kitne kam mm-hmm. call karne padenge kitne kam email karne padenge all these things if i am talking to ceo i'll say that ye char logo ka ye ye benefit hai you will get so the major pain area for the ceo cxos they they don't have visibility that what you know person is doing at ground level so so i'll talk about the analysis i'll talk about the dashboard i'll talk about the reports which will help ceo to get the access of that person working simple so when you are talking to the multiple stakeholders you have to explain that what kind of benefit they are getting you know hmm. so everyone uh, run on roi right you are working any in any organization i'll not take a uh, curate name you are working in any organization because you want certain kind of roi from that organization Mm-hmm. they are hiring you cause they also want some kind of roi on on you right Correct. so any person who are going to get the roi from any kind of roi right it may be mm-hmm. operational it may be you know financial it may be emotional anything that runs on roi everything runs on roi so you have to explain that what kind of roi they are going to get and how they can you know uh, get benefit from that that's all okay So, uh, has this ever happened? Like your uh, mid pitch uh, during a discovery call or a demo, and uh, someone raises an objection. Like, how do you handle objections on the spot? Can you give me an example of uh, a scenario where you tackle that? So, Ata, you know, before explaining that how you handle objection, I'll like to point one thing. Always mm-hmm. remember, if someone raising objection, they are more interested to buy your product. Interesting. yeah right so if you don't want to buy anything you will not mm. ask anything you will say ki ha ha sab badhiya sab badhiya sab badhiya right because you are not interested you are not listening so first try to understand if someone raising objection don't get irritated don't you know become negative for that person always understand that that person wanted to buy desperately that's why mm. he is confirming again and again right second the objection handling is very very much you know depending on the situation that where you are and what you are doing right so for me i hardly feel any objection is not answerable right, right. Uh, but for the people who are going to give the demo first time in my team right they are mm-hmm. uh, they just get uh, discomforted you know they they are not able to reply they just uh, pass that objection to me these mm-hmm. all things happen but if you know that first you have to understand that what you are selling very very uh, uh, deeply 
second mm-hmm. you have to understand why you are selling if you know these two things you will answer any any you know objections so let me give you example one of my client said ki yaar software pe theek hai you are very costly mm-hmm. right and uh, i can i can put two people uh, unki mm-hmm. salary 60 70000 ki ho jayegi main tumko 1.5 mm-hmm. lakh rupaye kyun do why i'll give it to you i mm-hmm. said if you go back in time when tally comes in right all these people mm-hmm. said same similar way ki this is very ye wo now not a single accountant get hired without tally they have to learn tally then they get hired same in logistic will happen after 5 years and you also know this is the future that's why you are asking me to give the demo if you don't know it and if you don't believe it ki future nahi hai software ka logistic mein tab aap mujhe entry bhi nahi dete so that's mm-hmm. why this is what happening and that's why you have to you know uh, uh, this is how, uh, this is why you have to pay me this much so this is how happens sometimes you it's not always playing on a back foot sometimes you have to play on a front foot but again depending on the situation if you know that uh, your client going to close right mm-hmm. but objection handling is very easy you have to understand your product you have to know how that happened uh, how that happening if i'll give you one more example so uh, i was trying to give demo again and again and there were so many objection were there so there's a two way first you can answering those objections and move forward right mm-hmm. but that uh, 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 break the flow right? right second way ask your client that please write these all questions let's have a demo first then we will have a q and a session and that will give you time to think about those questions right mm-hmm. and that is what happened and this is most of the time this is what i do right and whenever any objection comes in first thing smile theek hai उनको ये फील करवाओ कि उन्होंने जो क्वेश्चन पूछा है ठीक है वो तुमको पहले यू नो द आंसर और यू वर एक्सपेक्टिंग इट ओनली राइट आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग इट एंड दैट इज व्हाट कमिंग्स इन द दैट्स ऑल सिंपल आधा कॉन्फिडेंस उनका वहीं पे खत्म हो जाएगा सो अल्टीमेटली क्वेश्चंस आर गुड इफ दे आस्किंग क्वेश्चंस देयर इंटरेस्टेड दे वांट टू नो मोर या डेफिनेटली द वे यू वांट टू नो मी ट्रू ट्रू uh talking about your youtube journey how did that uh, start like uh, what was the motivation behind that uh so uh, i was trying to do you know a uh, similar thing right so in 2020 covid hits right and mere paas bahut early time tha mai kuch kar nahi raha tha so hmm. my brother suggested me that uh, see you should do it something right start your youtube channel or something like that Mm-hmm. I started doing it right. Ah, uh, many videos I made. I was not right. aware about my niche, camera, and all those things. I started right. the phone right. Ah, uh, then somehow I landed on sales, SaaS sales content right. That okay. how software sales works in India. How SaaS? What is SaaS? Ah, uh, how mm-hmm. software can can? Because if we talk about software company, people think that there's a one job which is coding, right? Right. Nothing else. <laughs> but there's so many opportunities if you don't know coding there's so many opportunities which you can leverage right hmm. so i started building uh, uh, my community i started posting more content right right now i'm the only hindi saas sales content creator across world right and Whoa. so if you go and search saas sales hindi you'll find my oh. name no one else is doing it right there are so many people who are doing in english there are so many out of india content creator who are doing uh, this kind of content saas sales uh, but no one doing in india and especially in hindi uh, so i also also you know uh, get to know there are so many student who don't know how to enter in saas they don't know how to do the you know uh, uh, saas selling they they don't even know what is saas right so hmm. if you know one thing upsc ya ias there were one government exam usme ye question aata hai what is saas what is software as a service right hmm. so these people come to me and they said like you explain very well hame nahi mil raha tha answer and this video works great for me and right. this is what happened so one and one more thing like my subscribers are not very high right i have around 2300 subscribers right now but these all 2300 people are regular watcher uh, they are regular viewer right and they are they are people who wanted to learn saas sales and that right. makes my community very strong uh, recently i also you know launched my course and that was also great right people start oh, congratulations yeah 
थैंक यू तो पीपल ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड बाइंग कोर्स ऑन सैड सेल्स एंड एवरीथिंग सो या दैट्स हाउ वर्क रिसेंटली वी ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड वन मोर चैनल व्हिच इज पीपल ऑफ सेल्स द मोटो बिहाइंड दैट दैट आई ऑल्सो वांटेड टू टारगेट इंग्लिश कम्युनिटी राइट एंड ऑल्सो वांटेड टू डू डू लॉन्ग फॉर्म ऑफ वीडियो व्हिच इज अ पॉडकास्ट सो दैट्स व्हाई दैट इज जस्ट वन मंथ बैक वी स्टार्टेड ओके and it's going pretty well i saw uh, your youtube channel and there's another channel uh, where uh, yeah. you come along with this gentleman and you talk about business problems right so the the motto behind that was i wanted to make it more communicational right i just wanted to make sure that it's just like the way two friends talk about things we are mm-hmm. talking about sales that's all so kya hota hai right kyunki kyunki mm-hmm. on my channel on prateek pande channel i am the one who is talking i am the one who is giving too much gyan it's my point of view right right mai kya soch raha hu mai kya kar raha hu but on people of sales uh, uh, me and my friend we are talking right sometimes we agree to the point sometimes we disagree to the point right it's just the mm-hmm. communication which is which is happening it's not my monologue my thoughts nothing like that right so that is also important now one thing i realize about content creation you know uh, all these people who are watching whether you are in job or not in job you need a you need a brand right you need a brand and see so if you are applying somewhere right there are 100 people who are applying day to day basis right and everyone have similar uh, cvs similar resumes right everyone showing that where they have worked what they have studied blah 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 right all these things what makes you stand out these people will go to your linkedin these people go to your some content channel right these people go to maybe do uh, in, they are hr who check uh, uh, instagram right mm. and then when they see that you are creating content you are doing you are talking you are you are posting something that makes you different so for right. you mm. getting a job is also about selling yourself so you have to sell yourself on social media you have to create content and this is what you know like going to help you so for me anyone who is there a minimum criteria is creating written content and that is right. very much easy right you are reading every day you are learning every day you are talking to your uh, your friend so whatever whatever you think that you learned something new just go and post it out on linkedin and that is going to help you to get new job new business new opportunity maybe good friends so yeah create a buzz about yourself and just market yourself to the world the best you can do is uh... You know, just be yourself. All right, just sell yourself, na. Hmm. And uh, very few people do that. Though uh, the normal LinkedIn posts that you see are uh, very inspirational stories, and uh, you know, like I helped this guy, and then he became a CEO. So uh, we need this kind of content. We need content uh, where uh, people educate. So you know, uh, see, ah. Uh, uh... there are people who wanted to cry about their pain and everything right mm. so this is very easy kind of content where you get the sympathy right to be very yeah. but you don't have to uh, too, may, uh, too many stories like this right you cannot post every day new content which can help you to gain the sympathy wo nahi hoga right yeah exactly so so second thing you have to be what you are right you have to tell that what you are learning what you have to mm. tell that what you are doing right you have to mm. tell your story one more thing uh, if you remember pehle movies mein aata tha i don't know like uh, uh, abhi to nahi dikhaya jata hai pehle movies mein aata tha jo characters hote wo apni diary likha karte the right they used to write that what is happening and there are oh. lots of people who used to who used to write diary right mm. now no one is writing diary right so for me my social media my youtube my linkedin these are my diary right and i'm writing my day to day life on that so after certain years maybe the mere great great grand children honge wo padhenge hey mere mm-hmm. ye prateek pande aisa tha life mein ye tha Correct. so i'm not putting content for anyone i'm putting content for me and that is my digital diary this is what i'm writing i'm writing there to be there forever Wow, that's a very interesting take, and uh, in a way, very true. You're leaving part of yourself on social media for other people and generations to come to discover and maybe learn. Right, right. Totally. You have to do it. Without that, you you will be nowhere. So I think this was a very interesting talk for me as well as our viewers. 
and i think we took a lot away from it and uh, thank you so much prateek for joining us so was really enlightening same yeah thank you so much it was great conversation and looking forward to have this kind of conversation once again sure thing